Hi, in this video you'll learn how to use topology auto-masking in sculpting. I'm using the 2.81 version of Blender. Let's talk about sculpting today. Let's quickly create something to work on. Here we have the default cube. Let's scale it 5 times. So S5. Enter. Good. And now let's add the subdivision surface modifier. So let's go to modifiers. And modifier subdivision surface and let's set subdivisions to 5 in render and in viewport fine and now let's apply this modifier okay let's go to edit mode and deselect all and let's create a UV sphere and let's move it along the X axis so that it's visible. So G X fine. Something like this. It's now visible. Now I can go to sculpt mode and Let's set the radius to 100 and the strength to 1, so all the way up, so that the effect is more visible. And now let's try sculpting the big part and the small part one by one using the draw brush, for example. First, we don't need mirroring. Fine, and now let's try it out. Here is the big part. Okay, and here is the small part. Well, it all works as expected. Now let's undo the changes. Fine. And now let's suppose you want to sculpt the small part near where it touches the big part. If you try to do it, you'll notice that the big part gets deformed too. As you can see, we're trying to sculpt just a small part but it also affects the big part and that's where topology auto masking comes in really handy well under the changes first okay and now press n and go to the tool tab here we are in the tool tab under options check topology auto masking now only the vertices connected to the active vertex under the brush will be affected you can see the active vertex as a blue dot on the mesh try it out by first sculpting the big part near the border now as you can see the blue dot so the active vertex is on the big part if we try to sculpt it here it will not affect the small part. Fine. Let's undo. And now let's check to sculpt the small part. Now the active vertex is on the small part. So if we try to sculpt it, the big part will not be affected at all. So as you can see, only the connected vertices are affected. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.